This is a small hamlet to the west of Nottingham. Once, in the deepest recesses of history, it found itself on the shoreline of the Atlantic Ocean, before becoming home to Roman settlers and Saxon invaders, where the chief of the local tribe was to give it the name by which it is now known. He was called Villa, and this is Bilborough. With the Norman conquest, Bilborough found itself in the hands of one of William the Conqueror's most favoured men, William Peveril. Before the 13th century saw it pass through marriage to the Distrelli family. This was a sleepy community, a farming village with crops of wheat and barley, and root vegetables, home to bootmakers, blacksmiths, wheelwrights and cowkeepers. A church had been built around 1400. Some say that bowmen from Bilborough were among the archers which caused havoc against the French knights at the Battle of Agincourt. The open fields were enclosed in 1808, and some coal mines were owned by Lord Middleton at Woolerton Hall, and a small stretch of canal was built to link his pits to the Nottingham Canal. In 1901, the census records that the population was 202, and there was no reason for this peaceful place to grow or expand. But expand it did. In 1932, Bilbra is incorporated into the city of Nottingham, and the land is purchased by the city to become the site for building council houses. One estate is built in the area between Deanwood Crescent and Beechdale Road, and the builders are at the ready to continue with their work when war strikes. After six years of turmoil and sacrifice of blood, sweat and tears, the Allies are victorious and the planners can return to their maps. But this is a new world, a post-war world, a world where men are returning home from conflict, where the sacrifices they have made for the good of the nation must be repaid. Bilbara must not simply grow, but must become a beacon of hope, of promise, of a better future for all, forging a new community where the working classes come together in the best houses that can be built, utilizing the most modern methods of the day, where smiling neighbors can watch as their children play on the street and the vicar comes to visit, where shops develop, organizations thrive and this brave new world reflects all that is best about the British spirit. Welcome to the future. Welcome to Bilbrow.